So something that I've been trying to figure out is that I have many different styles that all just make me me. So I need a wardrobe that can cater to that. So this first look being kind of my more e-boyish look, very dark chain accessories, high top boots, you know how it is. Um, I think boys are cute. So sometimes I like dressing like one. Moving on, sometimes I like to dress like very girly and wear dresses and girls are cute. So sometimes I like to dress like one. I'm not exactly sure what to call this look. I feel like it's kind of like a more casual skater if you will also i'm wearing nike on nike on nike so that's pretty cool i don't know i feel like this is something that like a cute skater boy would wear if he's just trying to i don't know dress a little more casual i guess i don't know where i'm going with this my next style that i feel like doesn't come out too often anymore is my more basic style if you will so i'm wearing this shirt from randy melville these plain jeans that i thrifted some chunky tennis shoes and a headband i've been trying not to really buy from brandy melville anymore because it's just not really my style style as much. So this style kind of comes in and out. It just really depends on my mood and how adventurous I'm feeling with my outfits. My next style is my kind of more classic chic vibe. This is my Pinterest dream. I'm wearing this silk button up paired with the same jeans and then just some, I don't even know how you explain these shoes. They're just a little bit dressier instead of tennis shoes because for some reason that's all I seem to wear even though I really like other style of shoes. I'm just too lazy to wear them. With that all being said, the whole point of this was kind of to show I just have a ton of different styles and I literally have to have a wardrobe that can cater to all of them or else I just don't feel like myself and it's totally fine to have a ton of different styles that you really like. You don't have to choose one and stick to it because then that's just boring. So yeah, anyways, the next few clips are some clothes that I bought recently that I wanted to share with you guys. So the first store that I went to is called Vantage. This is a very popular store. Hi. 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 In Salt Lake, a ton and a ton of people are discovering it. They are famous for their windbreakers and their kind of graphic t-shirts. They really, really have a nice guys section. Um, and obviously all clothes can be unisex, but the girls section is just really not good you can kind of see how defeated i am after looking through the girl section i don't know it's just really really not the best so i like to go there to look at the guy section because like i said girl section just really isn't all that great uh i never found anything from here but the next place that i went to was pretty successful actually <laughs> The second place I went to is called Pibs Exchange. This is also kind of in downtown Salt Lake. My friend Jonas showed me this place. The first time I went there was with him. So shout out to Jonas for showing me this place. Uh, I would say this has definitely an edgier vibe, if you will. They also have a bigger variety of guys and girls. So that was really nice. I found some stuff in both sections. So I was pretty happy with the stuff that I got. So now I'm gonna show it to you. Well, after going to our second uh, secondhand place, I actually found some stuff. Hi. Uh, for the next little part of this video, I wanted to show you guys some clothes that I have bought recently. Um, the first little part of clothes, I guess, is from ThreadUp, and I've worked with ThreadUp before. They're sponsoring this video, and I'm so excited. I actually reached out to them because I thought they would be a, perf a perfect partnership for this video. So if you don't know what ThreadUp is, it's basically the world's online largest thrift store. You can get a ton of different brands for up to 90% off, which is so cool. Um, one of my favorite features of ThreadUp is that it shows you like the retail price versus what you're actually getting it for, and it's usually so so much more affordable one of my favorite reasons that i like to start up is because they have like a search engine is that the word for it so basically you can like search for clothes and that's what i did to find the clothes that i got um if you go to like a regular thrift store it's not like you can like search for specific things but that is what i did for thread up it's also a more sustainable way to buy clothes since you are getting them second hand which is great because i've talked about how sustainability when it comes to clothing and shopping is really important to me and also the environment as well because did i already say that buying sustainable or secondhand is so much better for the environment quick thing i wanted to add i know buying sustainable is not easy for everyone and it's not accessible and affordable for everyone so that's why thread up is a great option because they have tons and tons of different brands um, that you could buy regularly just for a very very more affordable price so yeah um, keep that in mind i obviously am aware that not everyone can buy sustainable so that's why this is a really good option because it is more sustainable since it's secondhand and it's also a lot more affordable so yeah I kind of messed up this whole thing right here. So instead I'm doing a voiceover. Uh, yeah, I love being smart. But anyways, if you want to go check out ThreadUp, I will have links down below and you can use code Avery to get up to 50% off. It will be on screen. So make sure to go check that out. It's a good way to shop for clothes. So go check it out. They have super cute packaging too. This little polka dot packaging. But yeah, I have four different packages from them. So I'm really excited to open these. Ooh, okay. So a piece that I've been looking for are some, oh my gosh, 
are some loafers. I just think they're so cool. They're just such a different style of shoe that you don't see all the time. I've been looking for loafers for so long and I found this pair on ThreadUp and they are so nice. So the estimated retail for these were $30 and I got them for $15.99. So almost 50% off. I cannot wait to wear these shoes. They are going to be so perfect for the fall and winter. Okay, next few things I got. I got this little green sweater. I just thought this would be cute with a collared shirt underneath it um, to give it a little bit more of a fancier look, I guess you could say. Or I could just wear it with some jeans or just some, I don't know, regular pants to make it more casual. But yeah, this is also going to be perfect for fall and winter as well. The next thing I got, another pair of black shoes, but these are kind of vintage looking Nike shoes. Retail of these was estimated to be 110 and I got them for 52 so that's almost another 50 wait. No, that's more than 50% off. 55%. I've realized I kind of have a thing for vintage looking Nikes, so um, I'm very happy with this purchase. <laughs> So the next thing I got are these white jeans. I was thinking of possibly cutting these into shorts depending on how they fit. The only other pair of jeans that I had were skinny jeans and these are kind of more straight leg jeans. Um, so yeah, I might cut these into like knee length shorts, but I'm not exactly sure. It just depends on how they fit. So the next thing I got is a little bit out of my comfort zone because of the color, but I got this, like I would say a bright purple button up. I feel like an evil dentist in this shirt. I kind of, okay, I had a vision for this outfit. I thought this would be super cute with a button up cardigan over for it kind of inspired by this photo I found from Pinterest honestly I find all of my photo inspiration from Pinterest I know a lot of people get it like on Instagram and stuff but I've just been using Pinterest for so long that like all of my like Pinterest feed is like outfits that I like because it's like you know, social media is like catered to things that you like because of algorithms and stuff anyway. So yeah, anyway, that was random. If you're looking for outfit inspiration, you can look on Pinterest. You can also follow me on Pinterest. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought I could make some really cool outfits out of it. Um, also, I've said this for literally almost every piece would be nice for fall and winter time. <laughs> so this purple shirt is estimated to be $89 and I got it for $20.99. So 76% off. The next thing I got is this, you know, everyone needs just like a little black dress. I got this one. It looks kind of short. Um, yeah, that looks very short considering I'm 5'8". Uh, we'll have to see. Anyways, this is from Nasty Gal, which is a brand that I really like, but they're just not very sustainable. So I'm very glad that I could get this from a secondhand place. Next thing I got is this red button up cardigan, also kind of inspired by this photo um, that I showed you guys earlier, but I thought this would be cute with like a white uh, collared shirt with some cool pants and then either either shoes that I just really got. Yeah, I used to be so bad with like coming up with outfits in my head and I like started working on it, I guess. I would literally just sit on Pinterest and just look at different like photos of different clothing pieces and stuff and then just think of how I could like piece it with other things. I didn't really think that was something that you could practice, but I guess it is because I used to literally suck at it and now I can do it. I can like picture outfits together in my head. Okay, that was random. Next two things I got to go together. So this outfit is kind of inspired by this, another photo I found on Pinterest. I have been looking for like a nice chunky sweater. Um, I literally typed that into thread up and this is one of the ones that came up and I literally fell in love with it because it's just so cool and I really like the pattern and it's oh it's just so cool and I just really really like it. It kind of I don't know I just really like it. I really like the weight of it. I like the colors. I like the look. So to go with this sweater I got a pair of biker shorts like you can see in the photo. It's not I don't know if those are biker shorts but kind of this is kind of my take on that outfit because you know I wear a lot of blacks and whites. I thought this would be a super cute outfit especially for fall and winter. I literally have that for everything. So the retail of the sweater was $48 and I got it for $17.99 so that is a 69% off Deal. The next couple items that I got, I got from a secondhand shop. One of the thrift stores that I went to, I actually found quite a lot of stuff and I never, ever, ever find stuff at thrift stores, ever. I'm not a good thrifter, so I was very surprised about how much I found. First thing, is this sweater. I really, really like the color of it. It's like a burnt orange. This is a really good piece for layering and I think it's gonna be super cute during the fall. The next thing definitely appeals to my masculine side, I guess, when it comes to dressing. It's just this very basic black button up. It has a collar, which I really like because then it looks really good for layering and stuff. I feel like this is something that my brother would have worn to like a choir concert in fourth grade, but that's okay because I like it. Next thing I got is just this very basic Okay. I got this very basic red sweatshirt. I just thought this would be really nice for lounging. And I obviously could pair it with an outfit too, but just to be really comfy and stuff at home, that would be really nice. Why do I keep saying, I'm trying not to say cute, so instead of cute, I just say really nice, which is so stupid. This is another thing that's pretty out of my comfort zone, um, but it's this vest. I never wear vests, but one of my friends wears vests like all the time and just makes it look so good. So yeah, I got this like 
fluffy pink vest. I feel like this is something that you could find at like Urban, maybe like a few years ago. But I thought it was cool and I was thinking of different ways that I could style it. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. Okay, the last thing that I got, I don't, I okay. I don't know how I feel about this dress, but it's from, I don't know how to say this, Comme des Garçons. Sorry if I said that wrong, but that is a designer brand and the tag says $10. So I'm gonna try and figure out how much this dress is actually worth. I don't know, it kind of looks pioneerish, but like maybe I could make it look cool. But yeah, it's just this black long dress. This would also be good for winter because it's a little bit heavier and not super, uh, I don't know, it just covers more skin, I guess. I'm gonna try and figure out how much this dress actually costs because it could cost a lot and I literally got it for $10. So that was my haul. I'm very excited to try and piece all these outfits together. One thing I wanted to mention throughout this series is that I don't have everything figured out when it comes to my closet and my style and everything like that. The whole point of all of these videos is to try and figure it out. I'm not best dressed, okay? I'm not giving you guys like advice on what to do. I just thought it'd be fun to film and document, uh, I guess you guys coming along with me to figure out my style and outfits that I like and just kind of being more adventurous when it comes to clothes. Nothing makes me feel more confident than my outfit. I could literally, my face could look ugly, which, no, I'm not gonna say that. A lot of my confidence comes from my outfit, so if I'm wearing a good outfit, I feel great. If I'm not wearing a good outfit, it makes me sad. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I just wanted to mention that because I don't know, I just didn't want you guys to be like, oh, she's got it all figured out, because no. No, I don't, but I'm trying, and that's on the matter, so. Okay, next part of the video, go. What are you doing? Her <laughs> tail's wagging so fast. Okay, so this is the first outfit that I've styled from Thread Up. I'm wearing three Thread Up pieces right now, so obviously this one, uh, these jeans, and these shoes. The only thing that's not from Thread Up is this little undershirt that I'm wearing. But I think this outfit's cool. It's a little bit different. It's creative, I think. It's not for everyone. I'm sure my mom doesn't like it. But yeah, I think this is a really cool little fall slash winter look. I've said that for literally everything. It's so annoying. That's the season that's coming up. We said that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so here's my second outfit. Keep in mind with all of these, I'm still experimenting. These aren't outfits that like, I don't know. I'm still experimenting and figuring out what I like and stuff. So this was inspired by that same Pinterest post. So I'm wearing uh, the cardigan from Thread Up over a button up and then just some jeans and my Balenciagas. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one, but I'm working on it. So my mom rolled my jeans. She thinks they look better that way. Different sleeve option. Doesn't look as bulky. This is the outfit that I was really excited for and I still think it's really cute. So I have the sweater tucked into like the biker shorts, but another thing that you can do is if you're wearing like a bra or like a sports bra or something, you can tuck the front into that. So then it gives it more of like a cropped look. There we go. Now it looks more cropped. I'm wearing some Air Forces that I literally just got and then I stepped in a ton of mud and then Alex spilled blue drink blue powerade all over them so but the sweater's super cute super comfy biker shorts are obviously comfy so this is another experiment outfit so i'm wearing just like a random white long sleeve shirt with this vest oh why am i out of breath i just walked that's all i did with the biker shorts and then just some boots i don't know it looks kind of cool but i feel like i could style this vest in a different way that would make it look cooler i don't know the vest definitely adds a nice touch though so that's good okay this is the dress that i was telling you about it's the designer brand it kind of looks like i'm going to a funeral but like it's okay or like maybe to church if i was wearing different shoes i don't know and then my eyes are like stained red from my makeup like i was saying i was trying to find this dress online literally searched for so long could not find it but i found a very very similar dress um i thought it was the dress for a while the only thing that was really different was these sleeves are very loose and the ones on the other dress were like tighter but it was like 800 dollars. if anyone knows anything about this dress let me know because i cannot find it and i want to know how much it's worth this is what it looks like it buttons up scrunches right here and then that's the length I'm still gonna keep looking and I'll update you if I find out how much it is, but I don't know, could possibly be worth a couple hundred dollars, so. Got it for 10, quite the steal. I just finished editing this video and realized I never really made an outro, so here's me doing my outro. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring. I love ThreadUp. They are such a great way to shop. You already know I messed up this part too, so once again, you can use code Avery for up to 50% off your purchase. 
definitely recommend go check it out links below but yeah i hope you guys are liking the series this is only my second video of this series but i hope you guys like it uh if you guys have any more ideas for other ones or other videos like this you want to see let me know down below thanks for watching peace out well i'm so tired and really need some sun i'm so pale okay bye thanks for watching